strive for excellence, you have to deal with always learning, always growing. And life is a long journey of difficulties. But if you can think of it different, like I'm mastering life one step at a time and mastering will never finish, like I will never finish mastering everything, then you got a great start because you you already know that one, you're never gonna know everything, two, you're gonna have hiccups in the road, and three, you can solve those hiccups and continue to move, move and push forward as long as you understand that there's going to be another hiccup and then you just have to conquer that too if you can build mental resiliency like that for yourself then i just don't see yourself failing at anything or you might i don't see yourself i don't see me i don't see you failing at life because you'll always figure it out because if you've built mental resiliency nobody can take that from you because you can fail temporarily temporarily and then once you fail you'll tweak it a little you'll change paths you'll you'll change course you know you'll you'll change a little bit about what's happening and then all of a sudden smooth sailing again and then smooth sailing happens and then another hiccup and then you fix that shit and then it's up sailing again hiccup as long as you apply this to everything in your life It is going to be okay, I promise. If you're going to school and you're struggling with the class, you're going to have a hiccup. You better find yourself a tutor, girl. You better find yourself a tutor. And once you find a tutor, bam, smooth sailing. And uh, you're going to have another hiccup. That's fine. Ask one of your classmates. Ask Ask a professor. Bam, smooth sailing again. Bam, another hiccup. Until it just keeps on going until you graduate until you graduate and then once you graduate you're not gonna have the easiest time finding a job so then you have to go through the hiccups and in the smooth sailing and like life is just full of hiccups and then smooth sailing and for anyone who thinks that your life has to be smooth sailing i think you're selling yourself short of a happy life because you're waiting for the right moment to be happy and you're never going to be happy because life is a journey and you're not it's not just smooth sailing all the time you know I want excellence so because I want excellence in my life I'm gonna have a lot of hiccups that's another thing I I also feel like some people do and me myself included sometimes is like instead of like you're striving for excellence but you feel like you can't get there because you haven't right at that moment you're not like mentally resilient so so instead of trusting in yourself that you can get over the hiccup you start thinking of like you you feel like you can't get over that hiccup and you don't know how to fix it and then and then you you lose trust in yourself and and you're not motivated anymore and and it just turns into depression it turns into depression and i'm not saying like clinical depression like i'm not a therapist like i don't know shit about that i'm talking personally like for me when i have dealt with that when when the resiliency is not there and i feel like i can't get over it or i don't have the means or like i i just don't know how to plan ahead to to get where i need to and it's just bothering me like i know some of you feel stuck like i i used to feel stuck and that feeling is just it's not good and it's instead of feeling confident in you solving those hiccups and then smooth sailing and then having a hiccup solving it smooth sailing like that just keeps treading upwards right well for me at some point when i didn't have that much mental resiliency it's like i'd have a hiccup and then i'd plateau right i'd plateau like oh when like when, how long is this gonna last and then i'd have a hiccup and then if i didn't know how to fix it and i didn't try and i wasn't motivated and like i just felt very mentally stuck it would just start downfalling and i'd have a hiccup and if i knew how to kind of fix it or i waited too long or i wasn't confident it was just like this so it was it was just like either down or or, or flat or down or flat it was never like it just I felt like I was in a rut and I couldn't get myself out of it because the mental resiliency was not there and mental resiliency is like grit like when you have grit when you're able to say all right I don't exactly know how to solve this but I'll fucking figure that shit out like when you have confidence in yourself and it doesn't happen until you start conquering things that you never thought you could 
and that's why I was talking about last time in the video like a sweet spot where you can you have room for growth but you're not dreaming too large because you'll never get there and you'll feel stuck and you'll feel depressed and you'll feel this the world on your shoulders that's not a good feeling either so make sure that when you're planning ahead and you're dreaming of your future and your goals that those goals like you know what the end result is but you have to think of like what it what is a couple small goals that i can obtain now what are the things that I can do now move forward, to move forward with my bigger goal? Don't just think of your bigger goal every day and try, try to like get there. Just work on small goals at a time. And that's what's really going to allow you to build mental resiliency. So anyway, I think this coffee talk was great. <laughs> It started from like nothing like me being dead and like drinking a little bit more and then having some light bulbs turn on and then it also started with me being angry and look at me now I think I'm in a better feeling and thank you so much for driving with me and having this coffee talk with me please comment down below I I really wish that I can have like a coffee interaction maybe I'll do a coffee live one day not right now because I don't feel prepared but that'd be really cool like if I can drink my coffee and answer questions as they come that would be awesome who else loves coffee like that you know coffee talks but anyway um, thank you so much for watching I appreciate the support please comment like hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I post again and I've enjoyed this coffee talk and I will see you guys later. Bye.